Hello, welcome back to Burns G Life Noding. In this episode, I want to show you how I created uh, this procedural creations. It's basically uh, based on the idea of recursion. And we already have a node that actually does everything for you. So let's get started. So I'm going to delete everything. And I'll open up node 3, stretch of nodes. And the nodes responsible is scriptnet scripted uh, SNL or scripted node light and we already have the presets for this node um, not from here not from load presets it's actually down here there's a SN light template you just need to find recursive subdivisions oh where is it okay this one recursive subdivision all right so save very quickly recursive subdiv. so the node was a thing I believe was created by one of stretch of developer <clears throat> we can we can use this with a plane or cube it's easier to start with a plane so the output of this is something like that right um, so there's seed so you can see by randomizing the seed, it's moving the subdivision a little bit. You can randomize the vector. Okay, now you start to get something that looks like Mondrian art. And then you can increase the iterations. So underneath, underneath of this magic is actually, if you look under text editor, so there's this recursive subdivisions. This is actually something that's worth uh, looking into and study if you are interested it's uh, very interesting but um, because if you don't want to check on that you, you can just simply use the nodes um, all right so we got this and we can bake it right all the fancy stuff we can look at the wireframe and kind of admire this you can actually go inside face and then start extruding uh, you can do this I mean manually but you can also do it uh, procedurally if you use the maybe extrusions but you might also notice that we don't have UV and UV is something that's often you it's missing in stretch of for a while we actually have a way to deal with the UV uh, not set UV color there's another one set custom UV okay you set custom UV map let's output a B mesh and with this guy I want to turn on the edges and the output I want it to have UV currently it doesn't have UV by default oh okay this guy created it um, we can take a look at the UV so we can add a texture into it so currently the UV is like just a like little dot you can you can plug in this into the UV so if you look at the documentation of this node uh, you can understand what it's actually trying to do and it looks like the UV is too big, so you might need to scale it. In this case, scale it like that. Or you can pl apply matrices. Oops, oops, the keyboard. I believe this will do the job. Oh, maybe this shouldn't be in edit mode. Okay. Zero point zero two. Zero point one. Yeah. So that's about right. So here now, uh, we have the UV in place. 
um, you can do this differently it's depend on what you're doing but this is basically it in the nutshell and from here from simple subdivisions you can you can make random extrusions let's try doing that uh, we have this UV kind of on the way a little bit but let's try anyway extrude extrude separate faces you can do this differently you can use uh, you can separate every face polygon using polygon boom or you can just extrude separate face for now okay let's do that so extrude it in the normal we can randomize the height after random number for the height Turn on cavity and shadow so we can see. Okay, the number of extrusion side. It's a little bit like that. So that's the plan. Oh, underneath is hollow, but it's okay. It's okay for now. Okay, so we have these creations. This guy, I believe we can assign a shader. So let's do that. Create a material, assign the material here with the stretch of node. So we, we make sure that it's working. And we can use the shader editor, create an image texture, create new, color grid. Okay, plug this into the color, turn on texture. Okay. So that's uh, yeah it seems to be covering that area it's not too bad maybe we need to plug this in there and then update oh this not seem to update so this seems to be correct we might need to use texture coordinate plug in the UV. UV is actually really quite interesting if you think about it. You can you can actually set up a procedural UV texture coordinate. Like in this case, of course, this is what's exactly what's happening. But on top of that, you also have the normal UV that's in here. I think this is this is more correct. Um, there is a way here. Let me try. If we use, let's say, if we change this plane to the box, what's gonna happen? Yeah, okay, suddenly we have this, and we can increase the number of subdivisions here, randomize more. So, suddenly we have like something like that looks like a kryptonite. Something that uh, Superman might be afraid of. It's, it's pretty random, however, it's a. You could, like I say, uh, try using just plugging plane into this guy. It's gonna happen now. So everything is becoming a plane. So every face will have its own UV. We can do it this way. Scale it. Too small. Okay. Zero point one. I think zero point one is the the value that we need. Yeah, somehow. And the proper one with this. Uh, shader we actually need to use UV looks a bit stretch however in the picture I don't know maybe I need to use cycles still the same
yeah probably I did something wrong or I need to I need to separate each face of this guy using polygon boom and turn on merge so maybe now it's correct So I was expecting to see this UV texture applied into every face of this guy. Maybe I need to plug this into this guy. Something is not updating properly, but um, if I'm using the bolts and, and I'm separating here, polygon boom for every face of this, maybe I shouldn't merge it here. Yeah, I think merge. So if I didn't merge it, now we end up with 480 polygon face, but each one of them has the proper UV. So that's uh, that's actually what I want. And if we are happy with this, we can delete everything and simply join this guy. Yeah, I think that's a that's a nice walk around. We might need to use joins, but uh, you get the idea. This is. It's pretty cool and go to edit mode and okay merge this together merge the the edges uh, the the vertices by distance and then you can use bevel okay that part doesn't seem to work maybe use weld should be merging that area seems to be failing at some point all because it doesn't have the vertices it has different vertices because of the random subdivisions yeah but uh, yeah but uh, that's actually the whole process it's might be slightly convoluted but uh, let me save this as bait it's, uh, it's super interesting actually the way that you can simply recursively subdivide so you start either with a plane with random extrusions and random subdivision you can randomize the seed or you can have this box which you can actually subdivide beforehand if you subdivide this guy and plug this into this guy you're gonna get more uh, subdivisions basically you can increase the smoothness Oh, because I have a lot of objects here, that's why it's a little bit slow. And you can have more randomness from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we end up with this cool looking design. Even though it's a, it seems really simple to make, thanks to the nodes. Uh, this node recursive subdivisions. Um, yeah, a lot of things here are actually pretty complex, but it's made a. Uh, it's become so much simpler thanks to this stretch of nodes and a lot of things going on here. From the UV, the shading, and actually this this thing that you can you can animate. So there are like procedural modeling happening, procedural shader and procedural uh, recursion. 
and you can add to any animate as, as well so it's procedural animations so there you go that's a blender and spreadsheet add-on once again uh, thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye